Let's learn how to do the crochet leaf hopper stitch. For this stitch, it is a multiple of four plus three. So for this sample, we're going to do 16 plus three, so 19 chains. So chain 19. After you chain 19, you're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And then you're going to do double crochets all the way across until the end. And for this pattern, the chain 3 does count as a stitch. After doing a double crochet in the very last chain, you're going to chain three and turn. And since the chain three does count as a stitch, we will not do a stitch into that very first chain. You will do a double crochet into the second chain over. So double crochet in that second chain and then we're going to do a cluster stitch in the stitch below what you just did. So we're a cluster stitch in that double crochet from the row below. So yarn over, go under the double crochet from the row below, yarn over, under the stitch, yarn over again and bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, Go under the same stitch again, yarn over, bring up a loop, and you'll have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through four loops on your hook. You'll be left with two loops on your hook. That's your first cluster stitch. Okay, I want to show these first couple of steps one more time just to make sure that you're understanding it. So follow the same steps that I just mentioned. Double crochet in the second chain and then do your first cluster stitch on the post below. Yarn over, go underneath, yarn over, bring up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go under the stitch again, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through four loops on your hook. You have two loops. So for the next stitch, we are going to go into the, under the double crochet from the row below, but you're going to skip one and you're gonna go in the next one. So skip one of the stitches below and go in the next stitch. Yarn over, go under that double crochet from the row before, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go under the same stitch, pull up a loop, and you'll have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through four loops on your hook. You're left with three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. And there's your first leaf hopper stitch. Very pretty. So for the next, we're going to go into the we're going to skip a stitch, skip that one, and we're going to double crochet into the stitch right behind that second cluster stitch. So just do a double crochet right behind that cluster stitch, skipping one of the stitches. So we're not working in the row below, 
we're working in that next stitch. So double crochet into that one, and then you're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So you're basically doing three double crochets. Now we're going to do another cluster stitch. So in the double crochet right below the double crochet you just ended with, we're going to do another cluster stitch. And then we're going to skip a double crochet and do another cluster stitch in that one. So yarn over, go under the stitch below, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, go under the same stitch again, pull up a loop, you have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through four of those loops. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, skip one DC from the row below and go into the next double crochet from the row below. Yarn over, go under the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go under the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through four loops on your hook, leaving three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three of those. See how pretty that's looking? It's a very gorgeous textured stitch. So you're gonna skip one and double crochet into the next stitch. Skip one, double crochet in the next. So you're double crocheting in the stitch right behind that cluster stitch you just did. So three double crochets, one, two, and three. Now you're ready to do some more cluster stitches. Keep going until you get to the end of the row. When you've done your last set of cluster st stitches, you should have two stitches left. So the stitch right behind the cluster stitch you just did, and the chain three from the row below. And chain three does count as a stitch, so we're going to double crochet into that. So double crochet in the stitch behind the cluster stitch you just did, and double crochet into that chain three. And that is your first row for the leaf hopper stitch. So you're going to chain three and turn. And since the chain three counts as a stitch, we will not go into that first stitch, but we'll go into the second one. Not that one, but that one. So double crochet in that second stitch 
and double crochet all the way across until you get to the very end of the row. That is row two. When you finish with your double crochets all the way across, chain three and turn. Now we're ready for another set of cluster stitches and these are gonna be a little different counts than the other cluster stitches. So not going into that first chain because chain three counts as a stitch. Going into the second one, you're going to do three double crochets. Double crochet in that second stitch and then double crochet in the next two. So you should have four total stitches, the chain three and then the three double crochets. And then we're gonna start our cluster stitches, stitches again. So going in the double crochet below the one you just made, you're going to do a cluster stitch in that stitch. So yarn over, go under the double crochet from the row below, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops, yarn over, pull through four. Skip double, a double crochet and go into the next one. And do the same thing with the cluster stitch. And then double crochet, skipping one, double crocheting in the next three. So as you can see, these cluster stitches are in between the other cluster stitches. So it just gives it a nice little, little pattern. Instead of making them right above each other, you kind of offset them. So continue to do those cluster stitches and double crochets all the way across until you have four stitches left. Okay, last cluster stitch, and you should have four stitches remaining. So you're going to double crochet in the next four stitches to the end, double crocheting in that chain three. And there you have it. That is the leaf hopper stitch. So you're just going to repeat those three rows over and over again. So for the next one, we would chain three, turn our work, and do double crochets all the way across. And then we would chain three, turn our work, and do row one again. 
And it's that for the rest of the pattern. I hope you like the stitch as much as I do. Mm -hmm. 